Well, as our crisis and corrections investigation continues, the I-Team has learned tonight that inmates in Florida prisons organized a sit-down to protest prison conditions. I-Team investigator Adam Walser has been uncovering details about the planned demonstration and the actions the state has taken to stop them. Flyers like this one have been circulating among the state's inmate population for the past several days. They're aimed at encouraging inmates to participate in peaceful protests that they hope will convince legislators to reform Florida's prisons. This email sent to us anonymously had links to multiple I-Team crisis and correction stories, as well as information about a planned sit-down demonstration scheduled to begin Monday at Taylor Correctional Institution in North Florida. The flyer says this is war, which stands for we are responding. According to an email from a Florida Department of Corrections spokesperson, 14 inmates, about 1% of the prison population at Taylor, refused to work in food service Monday. The flyer encourages prisoners statewide to refuse prison work assignments in an effort to send legislators a message. The flyer says year after year, they fail to do anything comprehensive to fix the atrocities and destruction caused by their criminal and inhumane legislation. State Senator Jeff Brandis agrees lawmakers haven't done enough. We have a better plan for electric vehicle charging infrastructure in the state of Florida than we do for our multi-billion dollar Department of Corrections. Whose fault is that? Well, I think it's the legislature's fault. At the end of the day, we have to put forth a strategic plan of how we're going to address facilities, staffing, uh, inmate education, dealing with inmate idleness. We have to deal with all of these issues. That Department of Corrections spokesperson says that the planned protest there at Taylor Correctional Institution did not cause any disruptions. Families tell the I-Team that they've heard from their loved ones that inmates have gone on lockdown or restrictive movements as a result of those Monday planned protests. I'm I-Team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.